Welcome everyone to Canadian Tire Motorsport Park race number 15 of the truck series. About to get the race command here. Drivers, start your engines. And there it is. So Alexander Rowe is on pole for today's race. Our one and only, actually no, our one out of two road course races of the season. Taking a look at our point standings, Colombert is on the top spot once again, leading by 12 points over Dylan Ibrahimen. Who also gained a position, Nikolai Sykes dropped down two, down to third. David Davison, Nathan Norman, Kenny Johnson, Andrew Garner, Josh King all remain in their positions. Uh, Carlos Rodriguez and KCH go up four positions each, they're ninth and tenth. Alright, pace truck is off, getting ready to go green. Here at Canadian Tire, green flag is waving, and we're underway. And a great launch for the 98, really great launch. Fifty-four of Tim Randolph has also jumped up a spot. He's up to second. There's a fifty-six. Currently running in fourth, battling with Ryan Butcher. David Davison in a three, not too far back. All right, into five A and B, as we know, very tight corner. Ninety-eight hangs on, just cuts off Tim Randall, but he still wants to go. Still wants to take that lead. Down the long and dirty straightaway, side by side, side by side for a third as well. Spark gets tricky. We've seen a lot of big wrecks, or I should say big hits, coming through 9, 10, and 11. Coming around to lead the first lap of the race. Who's going to take it? Tim Randolph. He'll lead lap number one. Side by side here for a second. Once again. Still there on the inside. The 98 is going to go way off. Way too hot. Ryan Butcher in the 03. He's going to try to take second. The 98 still in the grass. And he really sent it down there. He's going to lose a lot of positions. I drop him out. Of, it's going to drop him out of the top 10. Cole Colby in the 12. A two-time winner. That second win gained him nine positions. He's jumped up to 18th in points. Imagine if he got a third win. Might be a championship contender. You remember this truck won three races. The last time we saw it. But it was three races in a row. And then they went on to win the championship. It could happen again. Here's a Johnny Cox in the 29. He nabbed the spot from Parker Smith. Parker Smith. Two top fives, two top tens. But a 36. Running, running in 36 in the points at the moment. And Parker Smith has had a tough season. But right now he's having a pretty good race. Take a look further back to 24 and to 3. Calvin and Davison. Calvin and 24 currently running in 29th. No top 5 so there's 24 team and only one top 10 to his name. You see battles Smith and Cox for 6th place here. Got a battle for the race lead. Ryan Butcher in the 03. He'll clear Tim Randolph. Coming out of turn 10. Randolph trying to cross over.
Brian Butcher, we know, is a two-time champ. Cup in National. But now his Truck Series campaign has been rough. Running 30th in the points. Now, of course, mathematically, these guys still have a chance at a championship, but they're going to have to pop off some wins here. Not just one or... Eh, maybe two. But maybe not two. They have to at least get one win and pretty much run, finish top five, top ten at least up until the end of the season. That might not be enough either. Yeah, they might need two wins at least. Side by side for second, the 56 slowly picking them off. No cautions yet, that's surprising. Usually we would have at least one truck go flying off course and slamming those tire barriers you see off 9 and 10 we've seen that a lot coming here Canadian Tire but today they decided to play it nice I guess they're sick of crashing so much at Milwaukee they just want to have a smooth clean race today and that's perfectly fine I wonder when's the last time we had a caution free race here might have never happened before here's the back of the pack running in last Michael Brown Stephen Oaks Kenny Johnson Riley Sampson Josh King a lot of them running their fastest lap of the race. Here's Colin Bear, our points leader, running 32nd. This will no doubt hurt him in the points. Yeah, road courses, even in a track like Canadian Tire, where we see a lot of passing. Compared to other road courses, of course. It's very tough to work your way up to the front. They're probably going to stay there the entire race. But we've seen... We've seen miracles before. Well, maybe not miracles, but hard chargers. Cole, Cole being the 12, they must have found some magic under that hood. Because this 12 team was horrible in the first half. Then they popped off a win at uh, Gateway. And then they got another one in Milwaukee. Maybe they're just really good at those flat one mile racetracks. I think we still got one more in the schedule in New Hampshire. So uh, it will be interesting if Cole Colby can win that race too. Battle for the race lead, heating up. Nikolai Sykes in the 56, right on the back end of the 03. No doubt this will be a big win for the 56. If we can pull it off, Ryan Butcher is just going for it. Well, not impossible. It's not very likely for him to win this thing. Alright, let's win the championship. So, checkers or records for the 03. The 56 has got to be real careful. There he goes. He's got him in the perfect corner staying with him not gonna let, it, let him get away that easily he's clear battle for a third as well behind So, new leader. So, 1.7. Back from first to third. Yeah, they've been running super clean today. Might go green all the way. Ryan Butcher gonna pounce back. Side by side once again. Coming down the long straightaway. See your third and fourth can catch up. A little, little bit far back. Might need another lap. able to close the gap pretty well just about just under a second from third fourth place just over 1.2 fifth place Parker no not Parker's with Alexander Rowe over two seconds back just ran his fastest lap
Here we go again. Let's see here. Both of them in the grass. Those third and fourth are not. That'll hold them back. Ryan Butcher gets away quicker. Tim Randolph is going to take advantage and see if he can take second. Carson Manning in the 19 in fourth place. There's Alex on the row all alone. Chasing down these four. He's getting there. Few in the back once again. Yeah, nothing going on here. They're pretty much almost single file. Although the leaders have been racing pretty hard, which is good. See so all the entertainment's up front anyways. Though that's gonna run them wide, isn't it? Tim Randolph also goes wide. Carson Manning. Can he take them both? Might be able to. 29, Johnny Cox has also closed in. So Ryan Butcher, he'll pull away. So Manning now up to second. One point two seconds back. Not a big lead here, but it does give them quite a bit of breathing room. Of course if they bunch up again then it's gonna close them back up. Brian Butcher is going to clip the grass. Manning as well. 56 is going to get by easily. Coming to five laps to go here. Five laps to go. Ryan Butcher and Yo 3. Been hanging on to the race lead for a bit. Probably has led the most laps so far. Top two get away cleanly this time. Manning kind of overshot it a little bit. Not too much. Saw some dust kick up. By a few. It's got some side by side racing. But that's it. Here's a Nathan Norman in the five. Huge improvement. Got the win at Pocono. No change after uh, uh, Milwaukee. But this five team looking good to be a championship contender running 13th not too bad now they're looking to get 12th place the 3 still out front six tenths ahead
Oh, Sykes is gonna get into the grass. And Butch is gonna get away again. Been running pretty well. Hardly overdrove the turns. That's allowing him to stay in the lead much longer and maybe cruise to a victory. Alexander Rowe going to take fourth. Drop Tim Randolph back to fifth here. Sixth place is currently Parker Smith. He's gained a spot back to sixth place. Johnny Cox, Cowden, Davidson, and Colby. The rest of the top ten. Let's view through the uh, standings here. So that's how they run at the moment. This time Butcher a little bit wide into the grass. Carson Manning in a 19. Gonna take, gonna gain a lot of ground. A whole lot and he's gonna draft off the 3 And we're approaching two laps to go so not the best time to make a mistake. Right on the back end here. Both drivers fighting for a win. Both drivers unlikely to win the championship. Both below th the 30th, I think. Well, Manning is 32nd and Glenn Butcher is 30th. Alright, two laps remaining here. Down to either two or three. Drivers can either be Butcher, Manning, or Sykes. Could be someone else too. These guys maybe get together. It's possible. Oh, this is chance. Here he goes. Carson Manning in a 19 on the inside. Butcher runs it wide. So does the 56. And they're side by side. The double zero, Alex in a row, the pole sitter. Didn't even lead a lap today. See if he can run these two down as he tries to get by. No, he's still there. Not hold him back. Oh, caution, caution, whoa, whoa, whoa. Caution is out. Late in the race. Oh man, I had to click the box. Okay, yellow is out. Wow, I thought it was going to be a caution-free race. I guess not. Now that was definitely unexpected. Well, having no cautions was unexpected, but yeah. Oh, anyways, uh, Carson Manning is our leader. Let's take a look at the replay. Thought I didn't have to say this today. So, turns uh, 9 and 10, as we know. I thought no one was going to go flying off today. But the uh, Ryan Pitchard and Connor Breeden back here in 30th. They got together. Connor goes around. Pitchard gets carried in to the wreck. And yep. They both slam those tire barriers. And just absolutely destroys the truck. Yeah, I thought we were going to have a super clean race without any incident at all. Not even a spinner. And uh... These two guys crashing on the last lap. Bringing up the yellow. So we will go to overtime once again. Yeah, Pitcher just got down on the 18 on the right side. And then they hooked. And off they go. Sailing into the turn. Into the barriers. Take a look at that one more time from the first TV camera. And what a hit by both of them, but Connor definitely took the bigger one out of the two. Alright, so caution first 
Caution of the day. Gonna be a green white checker finish. Two laps. I'll take you back to the restart. Alright, so Pitchard and Brayden are out. Pitcher out first, so he'll finish last. Connor Green 36th. Alright, two laps to settle this. This definitely changes everything. Bunching out the pack. Yep, this is going to be a very, very, very interesting restart here. So both drivers searching for their first win. A few of them, actually. Tim Randall's got some damage. Might have most likely ran into the back of somebody, but don't know who. 56, he's got damage to the back end. All right. Getting ready for the restart here. Here we go. Green flag is out. Back on their way. Great restart for the 03. I think they have a slight advantage being on that line. Down to the inside trying to hold them off. Oh, I didn't need to. He got away. Did a tiny block. Now right, here we go. Carson Manning's got him on the inside here. But you're trying to hold him back as best he can. It's going to be tough. Alexander Rowe in third place. Right on the back end of the 3 He's going to try for second now. Not too far out. Remember, double zero didn't even lead a lap. Despite being on the pole. But if he leads the last lap. The most important one. He's cleared Butcher. Oh, caution's out again. We'll go again. We're not done yet. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. So this one, I don't think really warrants a caution, but one was thrown out anyways. Take a look, Kenny Johnson. There were three wide back here. And uh, Cheston was trying to push his way back in. Ends up spinning out Kenny Johnson. That was it. He just spun at the back of the pack. Everyone avoided him. Yeah, I don't think this would have given us a caution in real life, but um, it did here today. So we'll line them up again for a second attempt. We'll keep going until the leader takes the white flag. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, field is lined up again, and more problems with Kenny Johnson as the ignition has gone out. So three trucks are currently out of the race. Don't think that spin had anything to do with it. Although it could have. Might have knocked it loose or something. Alright, here we go. Second attempt at a green-white checkered overtime finish. Green flag is out. Back underway. There's his lap lead. Not too crazy of a restart. Manning's still there. Side by side still. It's funny how he ran green all the way till coming to the white. Looks like Psych was all to spin that 03 out. Still neck and neck for the race lead here. Nobody's given an inch, start double wide all the way through. Everyone's just fighting for position. Man, he's got the advantage here. Now he's hoping for no wreck, no caution. Take a look at the back of the pack. It's time to get through. And don't forget 9 and 10. 
That's the danger spot. Okay, light's still green. Here they come. White flag is out. One more lap to go. Who's going to win this race? Manning, Butcher, or Alexander Rowe? Or will these three wipe each other out and could it be somebody else? Butcher's just hounding on that 19's back end. He's waiting for the right spot. And you know where that spot is. Here we go. Right on his tail. Oh, in the 03, he overcooked it too. The 19, perfect corner. Oh, he gathered it back up. But he lost a lot of time with that. Yeah, lost a little bit of ground there, quite a bit. Yeah, I thought the 03 had it, but he was the one who made the mistake. He could try sending it as far as he can. I don't think it will be enough. Alright, coming to the checkered flag here, Carson Manning in a 19. He will win here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. There it is, Carson Manning wins. Nope, somebody crashed coming to the end. Nope, it's the one. Colin Bear. Colin Bear just crashed uh, coming to the checkers there. Oh, Andrew Garner is also wrecked. Uh, we'll take a look at that after. Let's take a look at the four race results. Alright, so there you have it. Carson Manning the winner. Ryan Butcher second. Alexander Rowe third. David Davison fourth. Nikolai Sykes fifth. Tim Randolph sixth. Parker Smith seventh. Flora Johnson eighth. Anders, Max Anderson 9th and Johnny Cox 10th. Here's the rest of the race results. 34 drivers finished today's race and let's take a look at that wreck at the end. So let's take a look here. Andrew Garner was the one who crashed as well coming off turn 11 to the checkers. Bound with Bill Jones but he caught the grass. Went off the course and the one of Colin Bear was the one who uh, clipped the back end. So he wasn't the one who went off. So it was a 10. Yeah, no contact. He was just racing hard, trying to get two more positions from the outside if he could. But, uh, yeah, Bill Jones. Yeah, he actually ran in the back of Bill Jones. I think he was trying to block him. And then 10 runs into him, sends him wide. So a little. So a small defensive move by the 14 ends up sending the 10 into the tires. So, there was contact. Anyways, that is it here at CTMP. A very unusual race with cautions that late, sending us to overtime twice. They ran it clean all the way up until the last few laps. The last lap, I should say. We're coming to take the checkers, right? Or, yeah. Alright, anyways, let's take you to victory lane.